Welcome back to Shan Zen Zen Jamaican Vibes. This is Farmer Girl Jessie, the Jamaican Farmer Girl Jessie. Now, I did a video of her about two years ago, which went absolutely viral with almost 300,000 views. Farmer Girl Jessie is the young female farmer who got pregnant at a tender age and became a high school dropout. After she gave birth, she lost her mom and also became a single mom. And naturally, she had to fend for her newborn and her sibling. So she started selling farm produce, then later venturing out into farming. Now, years later, she is back in school to pursue her dream of becoming a nurse so once more i introduce to you the jamaican farmer girl jesse a young female farmer from saint elizabeth jamaica you're watching shan zen zen jamaican vibes inspiring motivating showcasing jamaican talents and giving back to my Jamaican people. Welcome back to Shan Zen Zen Jamaican Vibes. And we're here with the young, inspirational female farmer, Farmer Girl Jessie, the Jamaican Farmer Girl Jessie. And we're here on her cabbage farm, one of them. So later on, we're going to see the other cabbage farm is just coming up. I think she just um, planted those a couple weeks ago. But we're here and we're here to do an update because I had featured her on my channel about two years ago, right? Yes. Yes, uh, and, and that video blew up and everybody knew Farmer Girl Jessie, but everybody wanted to also know how she has been doing since that initial video. Well, as you can see, she's in her uniform. She's coming from Heart. Yes okay so tell us a little bit more about what you're doing now yes i'm going to um the heart trust in black river to obtain my cxc's that i didn't get when i was um going to school i dropped out of school so um now is the time right. that um, i'm trying to finish oh okay. to pursue my nursing career right right after you finish and you get your cxc you intend to go to university yes okay lovely lovely so and i would be like the key person i would be the key to open that door in my family to go to university i would be the first one. Oh <laughs> wow so everybody will be rooting for you now you know yes yes everybody's going to be rooting for you because um everybody want to see young persons like yourself achieve their utmost yes and um, even though you dropped out of school, you didn't sit on, on the wayside and waste your time. You still, you started your, you went to market, you said first? Yes. Give us a, a, another, for those who had, have never seen your video, tell us more about how you started farming and so on. So at 15, when I got pregnant, my mom died at the same time. Wow. So, and I, and I, become a, I became a single mom. Right. So at that time I had to find something to do to take care of me, my my son and my younger siblings. Right. So I started going to the Montego Bay, the Charles Garden Market in Montego Bay, where yes. I would take goods from my community members to go and sell and come back and pay them and yes. take more goods and go back on the weekend. So, you know, I could not finish school. Right. I, I started to go back, but um, I couldn't cope um, financially. So I had I stopped right. and, you know, I from that moment, I started to plan, I plan something for myself. Yeah. And when I bring it to the market, I realize I make more profit right. um, other than times that I would take only um, goods from people. Right. So that's where I realized that I could do something for myself and I, and I would make more money. Yes. So um, that's when I started. Okay. Yes. And then you became this farmer girl that yes. everybody knew and loved. Yes. And were inspired so much um, from the first video. Yes. All right. So we're in the middle now of your cabbage farm. Mm -hmm. This is cabbage what type of cabbage you have here these are tropicana oh tropicana cabbage mm -hmm. oh this is just lovely the ones at my other farm in the greenhouse those are caribbean queen oh, and okay. i have those because we're approaching the dry season and okay. those tend to take the dry season more than the tropicana okay okay 
So that, that is an important point for those who were interested in planting cabbage and didn't know what the, how or when is the best season to plant the different types of cabbage. So Here, so. this cabbage patch I do it because um, I was going to start school oh. and this is closer to my home right. than my main farm. So okay. having this land, I decided I would plant something right. so I can attend to it when I'm coming from school or on weekends or early mornings. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lovely. So what I would do after school, most evenings I would stop, right. pull out some herbs, do some spraying. I just stop by and do something because I have to pass here to, right. go, to go home. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I see you have one and two. Is orange tree? Yes, they are orange tree. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we we are now going to head up to her Dasheen yes, and them. her greenhouse. I have some dashing up there as well. I hope these are sweet enough. Oh, you're gonna give me a few oranges. Yeah, Thank I've you. I've never tasted this one before. Yes. So I don't know how sweet they are. We'll come back and get some. What type of orange is this? I don't know. Oh, honestly. okay. But I know um, that normally they are sweet. The funny thing is, I'm asking what type. I don't know the difference with oranges. I know they have parsley brown and yes, artanique and different no, times. No, the artanique is not this one. We it's a big one thick for, yes. skin, um, skin one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, we do this patch a couple weeks ago. You see how the bushes come back so fast? Yes. Because we have um, constant rainfall. Okay. So these cabbages will be ready in a few weeks. Yes, I hope so. Yes. This is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I don't know. A lot of persons have problems with cabbage, like with the worms and the bats, but not with me. Yes. What I have problem with is price. Oh. No price, but not with bats. Right, no. right. As you can see, you don't see one of them bite up, right? No, they're clean. It's very up. clean. And normally, persons would have their field, their, their cabbage patch bitten up by bats and worms, but not for me. Well, I this don't have that problem. Yes, yes. Ah, uh, after planting it for so many years, you know the techniques, you know everything, the um, com the remedy yes, <laughs> for for the, the bats and the whatever other insects. So over here, I have some dashing. Yes. And it's my first time planting it. Wow. So you know, someone told me that they think this um this particular place would have done well with dashing. Yes, dashing I, love this type of dirt. Yes, so I tried for the first time. Oh, it's your first time trying it? Yes. Man, this dashing looks beautiful. I'm hoping <laughs> it works so well. I hope so too. Mm -hmm. But dashings don't take a lot of... Um, it don't take a lot to come. You don't have to... Attention? Yeah. You know, after planting them, whenever they, they, they grow up and start springing or sprouting, whatever they call it, you yeah. will go through and mold it. Mm -hmm. Pull up the dirt or, uh, on, the, on the roots, on the naked roots, right. for it to yield um, good. And then, you know, from that, you just keep it clean until oh. harvesting time. So oh. it doesn't take much attention like other crops. Oh, okay. You don't have to come and spray it like other crops. No, so, you know, it's even, but it takes long. To come, yeah, yeah I know. So if you don't want a particular land to use, yes. you can farm dashing on it. But if you're going to use it, yeah. Soon you cannot because dashing is not um, a catch crop. It's I think it's nine months. Quick crop. Yes, it's yes. like a baby. It's <laughs> like a pregnant woman. <laughs> yes. Planting dashing is like being pregnant. Nine yes. months tops. Yes. Wow, dashing looks lovely. And the further you go, the further you go, it's taller. Oh I yes, because, I can. Yes, up there is cooler. It's like your neck. Yes. <laughs> Because up here is, um, is cooler, yes. it tends to grow um, taller. Down there is um, have more heat. Wow. As you can see the difference, those are kind of yellowish. Yes. These are um, greener. That's and true. They are so tall. Look, look at this now. You see here now? Right. One dashing, one dashing plant can give you bunches of suckers, as you can see. Yes. So whenever you harvest this dashing, you're going to have more dashings to, um, to transplant right. than the ones you planted. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
So if you plant one dashino, you can get up to six suckers off that one dashino root. So when you're ready to plant, you don't need, you don't need any dashins from anybody no, to plant. No, I can't. Yes, I can. You just, just need more it. land. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have um, breadfruit on the farm too. Yes, we also have breadfruit. Yes. A lot. Which I don't eat. Really? <laughs> no. I mean, love breadfruit. No, unless it's roasted. That one looks like it's ready to roast. Yes. Yeah. Let me see that one. That's a roasting <laughs> breadfruit. Mm -hmm. <gasps> it's very nice. If I can just stick to pick it enough. Let me see. I don't think I've, I've ever picked a breadfruit before, you know. <laughs> So, so you know you're not a breadfruit farmer. No, I don't eat. I don't unless it's yellow. And you don't eat it. And it's roasted. Okay. Roasted yellow heart. Yes, I can do something with that, but I you know that if you pick the breadfruit, right? Yes. And you wear it white. Yes. Or even colored and it dro and the stain drop on it, it's going to stain it. You know yes, that? I know that. So let me just try. And oh yes. Yes. And we get it. So yeah. Let me just see if I can <laughs> So this is my daily routine on the farm. Yes. I do these things almost every evening after school. Right. And here we have a lovely breadfruit. Oh yes! What a nice big chunky breadfruit. Yes, it looks like a roasting breadfruit. Yes, a roasting well. breadfruit. It ready. Mm. Wow! Just put it down here mm. a little. Make it dry. And here I have my, my, I always have water catchment. And yes. And I remember your unique, one of the things that I really, really liked about you. Yes. As a matter of fact, you're one of the persons who really, really inspired me to really start farming and take it seriously. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I really liked about you is your unique way of harvesting water. Harvesting water. I remember yes. seeing because when you had it, you didn't have anything like this. No. You just had two... Um, I think you had two posts mm -hmm. and the zinc and it was catching water when rain falls in yes. the drum. So this hinder me from carrying water from the tank yes. to wet the greenhouse because if I have 200 trays inside here yes. to wet all those, to, all those 200 trays, yes. it's going to take me like one of this. Right. Every wetting, one of this. And I cannot bring this much water right. from the tank over there. So this helps me a lot. So you have to use your brain yes. and different techniques um, while on the farm. Yes. You cannot and just use your strength to work, you have to use your brain. And try to minimize on the cost, because yes. farming can be very costly. Very, very. Yes. Because as a female, most of the things on the farm, you have to pay to do it, because you cannot do it by yourself. So, yes, yeah. yes, yes. And now that you're going to school, it's even harder. I'm telling you, don't talk about it. Yeah. Mm. So the kids are doing well? Yes, they are fine. Um, oh. The summer one is going to school now as well. Okay. He's two, but um, he's going to be three next month. So okay. he's going to school as well. Okay. Awesome. And, uh, the eldest one is in grade six. Preparing oh. for Pip. Oh my. Yes. Good, good, good. All right. I can give you some advice. As you know, it is a handful with the farm, going to school, having to do with the kids. Yes. Let me tell you, every day is like, wake up in the morning four five o'clock if i'm working men that yes. particular day i have yes. to wake up like 3 30 yes cook the men lunch leave it go to school now prepare for all my kids and myself for school right yeah so i have to come back from school and attend to the workmen and then i have to go home and again and cook dinner help with homework do my homework prepare for school the next day and just prepare for the next day rather yeah so you know it's a handful it's yeah. a handful <laughs> And you're doing it? Yes, I am. And I decide to do it right road. I'm not going to give up, honestly. Yes. That's not in my book. No. Neither back nor front, no. No, that's one thing with us, St. Elizabeth. Um, people, especially females, we're not easy to give up. No. It's so inspiring. And a lot of the times we see stories like yours. And we wonder how they do it. Is this possible? Is this person a superwoman? And it's truly amazing because if you have... The, if you're ambitious and you really want it, yes. then you have to go for it and, and with all of your might and um, give it as much as you can. So and let me tell you, it's not always easy as it seems. You know, yes. people may see you and say, oh, she's doing it good. She's wearing a smile. It's not always like that, you know, but we just have to do it. Right. We get up sometimes feeling like we cannot go through the, through the day and we cannot do it. But guess what? We have to pull up our success and we have to go out there and make it happen. Because if you sit down, no one, no one is going to pull you up 
or get up and do what you were supposed to do it's gonna stay undone without you doing it so you have to use that as a motivation for yourself right if i sit down no one's gonna take me up or no one is gonna pick up where i left off right. and whenever you look at your children or your child you see everything that you need to be doing or you need to do so you know that's our motivation oh yes most yeah. definitely mm -hmm. very inspiring so yeah. the the inspiring farmers on my channel you would have seen uh, the medical technician who transitioned into farming the blind farmer and and you know what they're all from saint elizabeth <laughs> saint elizabeth has some of the most inspiring farmers really a pleasure to be here with you farmer girl jesse now the jamaican farmer girl jesse yes. yes um it's a lovely farm continue doing what you're doing Thank now you. we're going to move on to the next farm all right so we're on the second farm well this was the first farm but we um this is where everyone would have remembered she had the cabbage yes so here uh, this is my main farm yeah. but at the moment um i'm just getting it started back i have we have some um previous hard rain and it damaged my farm a lot so um this is the starting over process right. so i'm just replanting cabbages at the moment and mm -hmm. carrots over there right. and um i'm doing some cleaning up for irish potato and pumpkin as well so all of this will be cabbage yes it's already planted and oh yeah you can see young. the suckers yes so you don't plant the suckers, you just plant seeds? Suckers. Suckers? Yes. yes. Oh. So these are the younger patch, the older one is over there. Yes. I plant them um, stage by stage. Yeah, so this might be ready. In how long will the, the first patch be ready? From now, like two months from now. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then this will be probably three? Yes. Okay. So you'll always have cabbage mm -hmm. to sell? Yes, and I have some some um some younger seedlings to transplant here okay at the moment right right the one that the one that these were um transported from yes they were in trays like see the trays all over the place okay right so over there that green green pasture is carrot oh but you cannot see them as yet they are very young so I need to come through now and burn it, burn it out with some herbicide right. for the herbs and it will leave the carrots only. Probably um, next week I will oh. do that. Mm -hmm. What you have down there? It's going to be prepared for um, pumpkin. Nothing as yet. Oh. Yes, cleaning up. Um, and here it's going to be Irish potato but probably week after next week, two weeks from now. <laughs> I'm going to plant all the way out there where you can see the black trees go all the way out there. Yes. There's cabbage in it. Go all the way out there. But those are the bigger ones. That's a lot of trees, my goodness. Yes, I think it's like 200 trees. Oh my! <laughs> so that's like um, close, um, maybe 20,000 seedlings. My goodness! That's a lot of cabbage. Yes. <laughs> so you know, I normally plant cabbage most because um, it works for me, it works well with me. So. Yeah. Do you get help from Rada with cabbage seeds? I think once. It's been a while. <laughs> once? Yes. Oh my. I think that was last year. Oh. Mm -hmm. So it's this is nice. Farmer Girls Jessie Greenhouse. One of them. One of her greenhouses. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But this one I have the seedlings under underground because um I, I take out the, the stand to put the trays on. Right. So the, the bigger greenhouse I have I have it with with um with some shelves. To put the trays on but this one i wanted to put it on the ground oh okay so, um i can just pull them right and transplant them from here and i i, I do it like i do it indoor because i want to protect it from the heavy rain that we had oh. earlier yeah we have some crazy rainfall so right if i didn't do this i wouldn't have any seed any um seedlings to transplant so yeah this is a way you can do it if you want to save your seedlings yeah. whenever it's raining too heavy um i noticed some of the seedlings have started to like curl curl up dry they want oh. to wet oh <laughs> because they're indoor they don't get the rainfall so i have to wet them oh. manually every time okay okay so these just want a little water yes okay and, and the bigger ones are ready to transplant as you can see when i pull up the bigger ones it's gonna give the smaller ones space to get bigger and you have a few cucumber yes i'm going to pull them out because <laughs> they're going to kill um the Cabbage. cabbage yeah 
Um, so how much food. storage would you say you have here? Here I have like 15,000. 15,000. And that can plant how much land? I'm not sure. You're not sure? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not sure. But 15,000 yeah, 15, of cabbage. Yes. But what I planted down there is like 20,000. The whole are down there, sir? Yeah, it's a little bit of that. Oh, Just a little, a little bit less. It's a whole in place, like 20,000, and it is like 15, um, 15,000? 1, 10,000, yeah, it is 15,000. Yeah, so 5,000 less. But that, that's, that's 20 trees. That's 20, uh, one tree is like um, 128 whole. Right. One tree. And that look like about two acre cabbage. No, it doesn't reach two acre. Oh. I'm just gonna bring it to two acre. Okay. Okay. Yeah. As you can see here, as I said, I'm gonna put Irish potatoes um around the bamboo tree there, and back down that end, I'm gonna have pumpkin come all the way up here. But that's gonna happen um maybe two weeks from now. Yeah. Okay. So as you can see, guys, we're in the hills and it's a bit overcast. if they didn't have the the greenhouse the cabbages in the greenhouse they would have get some rain yes <laughs> but um it's good and it's bad yeah but it's mostly good because if it weren't for the greenhouse i wouldn't have them right because of the rainfall yes yes the body's gonna have to work them manually right man that means you would have to come every day after school? No, not every day. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So the ones in the greenhouse, I'm going to um, start planting from this end. Go mm -hmm. back. Go back around here. Oh, I didn't realize that this end was a plant. Planted as yet. So these are the bigger ones, you can see. It's bigger than, they're older than over there. Right. And I'm going to come from this side. Go to that side. Yeah. As you can see, these are ready for... As you can see, the herbs are coming in fast. Yes. Because of the moist in the earth. Right. So, um, yeah. Oh. I'm going to start burning. So, like, I know with other crops, like farmers up our side don't normally plant the same crop back. Like, after they plant it, they recycle it. They use some other crop and then they plant it back probably yeah. the next time I around. That, I do that sometimes. I did that um the other day. Yeah. Right here I have You don't have carrots. any problem with the cabbage when you plant it back here. No, not really. Oh. You may not get the same yield as you get the first time. Right. You're not gonna get them as big as you get them the first time. The fresher and newer the land is, you get a better yield enough cabbage. Right, mm. right. You get them bigger, prettier. But that doesn't mean that you cannot reuse it. Right. It's just that it doesn't have as much nutrient as it was before. Right. Because mm -hmm. I know like when I plant the sweet potato, yeah. I don't plant back sweet potato there. I plant I planted carrot. And now I have sorrel there. Okay. I don't have any sorrel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a nice piece of sorrel. Okay. Sorrel is almost ready. Yeah. Yes, Christmas. Yeah. I'm gonna have some rain soon. Yes. Man, is you pretty? Hmm? Should the place clean up the, the view is just so yes. magnificent. The cabbage is getting a lot of oxygen. Yeah. All of that is cabbage. Well, I'm gonna come back when the cabbage them pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Start here. Yes, yes. Here and then I will have um, the entire place farmed up. Right. Well, this was certainly a lovely day and a lovely tour. Um, a familiar sight. Farmer girl Jessie with her cabbage farm. You would have seen her on a video that I got over 200, almost 300,000 views. Um, everybody was just so amazed at her tenacity and her drive as a young lady. Um, even though she got pregnant at an early age, dropped out of school, she still held her head up. And as you can see, she's now in her uniform. 
So she's back in school. Can you tell us a little bit more about what you're pursuing now? Um, yes, um, as I said before, um, I did not finish school. I wanted to become a nurse, and um, so I did not get my CXEs. So now I'm, I'm trying to get, I'm going to get them, and then I'm going to go off to university to pursue my nursing career. Wow! Congratulations! Wow, this is lovely. Yes. <laughs> Goosebump moment again. <laughs> Just like the first time, um, it's so, so beautiful to see your farm. Lovely as ever. Lovely as ever. All right. So, um, um, farmer girl, Jesse, do you have anything to say about your viewers? Um, I noticed that your channel, you haven't been posting. A lot of people have been calling and saying, what happened to farmer girl, Jesse? I don't see her posting any, anything about her farm. We were so enthusiastic and, you know, and loved seeing her on the farm and seeing what she's doing. <laughs> New. Uh, what happened was my YouTube channel. Um, got mixed up with another girl's YouTube channel because we have the same name so people would go over her channel and, and think it's me right. you know which her name is Jess and my name is Jessie so I've changed transitioned my name a little bit um, yeah. into the Jamaican farmer girl Jessie okay. all right so whenever you're searching for me you just um type in the Jamaican farmer girl Jessie right. and you know my, my content is supposed to be about farming right. brown provision right right yes I think the other one was a livestock farmer. Yes, yes. Right, right. So, um, this is farmer girl Jessie now. Her new channel is the Jamaica. Jamaican farmer girl Jessie. The Jamaican farmer girl Jessie. Yes. So, I'm imploring everyone to go over to her channel and subscribe and follow, like and share. And as always, support her in any way you can. So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching and thanks for making it Shan Zen Zen Jamaican Vibes. Until next time, walk good and look out for your neighbor.